Thread is a dependable, secure, and energy-efficient network protocol that improves brilliant home experiences by giving fast reaction times and extended coverage. Home automation devices such as lighting, thermostats, door locks, sensors, and intelligent speakers can safely, reliably, and quickly integrate into the smart home and connect directly to the cloud as an IP-based open standard. We will talk about the future of every smart home, Thread Protocol. So without any delay, let's get started. How Thread Works Thread is an IP version 6 based peer-to-peer -peer mesh network that eliminates the need for devices to connect with one another through a central hub. The Thread is currently in beta testing. When it comes to smart homes, it doesn't really matter because you still need a way to connect with the devices in your home. However, the IPv6 design on the other hand is supposed to be better at both performance and reliability. When it comes to threads, there is a reasonably straightforward nomenclature. While this won't be much of concern to end users, it's always beneficial to understand how things function in general. Nodes can be either routers or endpoints, and each device is considered a node in this context, also referred to as parents or children, respectively. Endpoints will always be endpoints, while router devices can be either endpoints or router devices, depending on the status of the network at any given time. A router is a device that, as its name implies, allows data to be routed over a network. In this case, the devices will be those that are always turned on, such as power plugs and light bulbs. Endpoints will typically be portable devices that run on batteries. They're not meant to transmit any information other than their own. They can only talk to the router device they are connected to, so they can only speak to each other. Thread is designed to be a self-healing and self-maintaining network. It will automatically adjust as you add or remove devices or even physically move them around. Let's say you have a contact sensor on a window connected to a nearby light strip. If the light strip loses power in a regular mesh network, the contact sensor is also disconnected from the web. On the other hand, Thread will automatically connect that contact sensor to the next closest router device, an intelligent plug, and keep the network running. A leader node is also present. This device is in charge of figuring out which router nodes will act as endpoints or take on router responsibilities. Any router node can become a leader node. The network decides this for itself and randomly based on the current situation. The border router is the final device required for Thread. The device that connects your Thread network to your home network is this one. In various innovative home protocols, this is similar to the hub. As a backup, all Thread-based devices contain a Bluetooth chipset. If the border router goes down, it will return to a Bluetooth connection. If you set it up as a Thread device, it's unclear what Bluetooth device it will connect to. Setting up a Thread network When you turn on a Thread device, it will look for a Thread network to join automatically. Suppose it can be a router when it enters the web. In that case, it will be automatically dubbed Router if fewer than 16 routers are on the network. The thread will strive to keep the number of routers between 16 and 23, with a maximum of 32 by design. Up to 511 end devices can be connected to each router. The total number of devices is enormous, 16,352, which means that even the most significant home would not be limited. The 32 router restriction is concerning, but mainly for substantial households. Even if there were new routers, there would only be endpoints. We can only imagine that the coverage would be extensive. The thread was created primarily for intelligent home applications, so battery life and power consumption were primary objectives for all smart home devices that used batteries, of which there are many. Endpoint devices can use a sleep interval mode which dramatically improves battery life. This means that instead of receiving data automatically, it will explicitly ask its parents if there is any new information. This does not rule out the possibility of some latency when the device senses something. If a window or door sensor detects movement, it will immediately notify the parent device. Consider a security guard tower. The sentry at the farthest point does not keep his radio attached to the control tower all the time. Instead, they'll check in with the control tower through the radio every now and then to obtain a quick status update. However, if they see something, they will quickly broadcast information from their end. Thread also supports the creation of partition networks. If you have a large home, you may set up multiple Thread networks, each with its own border router and operating independently. Suppose you can enhance the network connection and link them. In that case, they will merge into one extensive Thread network, with one of the border routers downgraded to a simple router. 
Consider this scenario. You have a three-story house with thread devices and a HomePod Mini in the basement, a similar arrangement in your bedroom on the second floor, but nothing on the main floor. Because the thread network isn't powerful enough to connect the two tiers, they must work separately. However, if a router device such as a light bulb were to be installed on the middle floor, the thread network would be able to flow continuously across all of the gadgets. So that's a thorough dive into thread, but why is it relevant in the context of smart homes? Why can't we just use Zigbee or Z-Wave instead? Why thread matters to smart homes? Zigbee and Z-Wave are fine and do excellent for all intents and purposes. They're a mesh network, but unlike thread, they're not self-healing or IP-based. Since Zigbee is an entirely open standard, manufacturers will ship their own versions of it. It's been a bit of a problem. They usually have their own hubs that aren't compatible, which is a bad experience. Because all Z-Wave devices are interoperable, Z-Wave has the advantage of being a closed system. However, because the business that controls them has a virtual monopoly on hardware and software, prices are kept high, something that irked other companies. So why will Thread be the protocol that everyone chooses to adopt when there's so many alternative protocols that are already very good? The importance of Thread in the smart home industry will mainly be because the big boys want to use it. Smart homes are becoming more mainstream, although they're still limited and niche on a large scale. Because each company has its own Zigbee hub and Z-Wave doesn't get along with others, the landscape is simply a collection of little to medium-sized businesses trying to figure out the best path, which isn't fantastic for the average consumer. When Apple and Google decide, the rest of the industry follows suit. They're simply too big to ignore. Four trillion dollars in combined market capitalization. And they've basically decided that Thread is the way to go. As an intelligent home manufacturer, you'd be foolish not to jump on board with Thread and CHOIP, which will work in tandem. Clearly, this will be a multi-year endeavor on everyone's part. Only a few Thread-enabled devices are available right now. The HomePod Mini, the Nano Leaf Essential Bulb, and the Light Strip, the Eve Contact Sensor, and the EU Smart Plug. We believe that Thread will be the primary wireless protocol for smart homes and that Wi-Fi routers will integrate Thread within a few years. Is this to say that your current possessions are no longer helpful? Certainly not. There's no reason it shouldn't operate as long as it does already. It'll almost certainly work with Thread devices on an ecosystem level, just like your smart home does now. Your smart home is likely made up of Wi-Fi, Zigbee and Z-Wave devices today. Still, they all operate together thanks to ecosystems built to support them all. Adding Thread to the mix won't cause any problems, but we expect Thread devices to become more widespread in the future. So there you have it, a deeper look into Thread and why we believe it is the smart home's future. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment with your favorite part of the video and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Leave a comment saying I subscribed and I'll personally reply to your comment. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.